All that dirt that I put in there is now mud. So I'm gonna start filling in um, in between these tires. Maybe I'll clean up that paper and like all this extra paper here, all this cardboard, I can rip this out and shove it in the middle uh, in between the tires where there's gaps and just put mud in there and then um, probably concrete and then plaster over top of it. Some spots I feel like at the time I felt like it was a good idea and now I'm second guessing it. Um, I couldn't I couldn't find cardboard. And looking back, I probably should have just went to the store and bought some. So I used steel. And now it's kind of sticking out. So I feel like that's going to be a problem. Like the cardboard is one thing. So I feel like if you're putting dirt and concrete over the card, well, I guess I can just get some kind of um, like that chicken wire or something and go around it. I just I just wish I didn't do that, but whatever. Um, so it stopped raining, so I'm gonna try to get some of this done before it starts raining again, because it's supposed to thunderstorm for the next two days. I'm really glad that I started doing this before all that rain, because now in a couple days when this dries, it's gonna be solid like a rock. I wish I, I continued down here more, but man, I was tired, so I didn't get to it. Um, and then over there where the bathtub or shower is going to go, same thing. When, when that dries out, it's going to be nice and solid, so I, it'll be easier to put um, a floor on top of it. Oh shit, there's a rock on my shoe. Fucker. There's a caterpillar. I think that's what that is. So I think there's... It's pretty thick. Um, less than two weeks ago, this part only came down to like there oh there's another one so i have one two three um three different bamboo shoots um coming out so all back here i packed all this in yesterday And then um, I'm just gonna put dirt on top of it and try to grow plants and shit. So I'm gonna let this dry. Probably do another coat of it. I mean, why not? Um, or maybe now I should do a thin layer of concrete. Like maybe I can put chicken wire or, or something on the tires and just get concrete. Because there are some spots, like the steel thing is, so I feel like this area I should put concrete I really don't know. I'll figure it out. I'm trying to spread out my, my energy. <laughs> it's probably gonna rain again this week, at least a little bit. One more day of rain on this. This will be all packed in and I'm gonna fill in around the top with mud. And then all down here, 
crushed granite, trees, and dead shit. This is where I'm gonna plant flowers. It'll be flowers, plants at the bottom, and then as you go up, I still wanna see the tires a little bit, but it'll be plaster and some kind of design. And then the, um, the straw bales will go along the top. So the next step for back here is just the mud and then start filling in over on this side. So I'm thinking back here, I can either have a door, like a back door right here. When you come in, the first thing you see is the pool. And then through here, I can walk around the side through that path over there. So I come around the back through that door into the house, out another door that takes you either down that way or down that way. I don't know if this is going to be the main door to get in the house or not. I guess I don't really have to have one. Then there'll be a door here because this will be the entrance to the to the garden, which will be right here. And in the back, um, there's a deck to get up top. So greenhouse, pool, you go through the greenhouse, and then upper deck will be that way. I was gonna put the upper deck here, but um, I wanna make sure that the sun hits the garden, which will be all this. There's gonna be food production over there as well, but the, um, the main greenhouse area will be uh, right here. So all this. So once I get all this fixed up, so next I'm gonna have to research this a little bit because I'm not 100% sure that this is the best way to go about this. I wanna start moving towards putting up a roof. I wanna set up my first little water collection. So the arch is gonna go up and then kind of swirl down a little bit. It'll be an arch from that pole to that one. Then at the top of that arch, there'll be um, a little ramp or something to um, filter water into the container. I'm trying to find random spots to fit water and it seems like this is a pretty good spot. It's gonna be hidden. I'm not gonna use this space for anything. So I can fit a 500 gallon tank right here or I can just build one into the wall. Something to think about. So the roof is next. That one's going to be tough. <laughs>